I have a pet, Coco. For a very brief moment in time, Coco was going to be called Beyonce. But unfortunately, I had to put my foot down and tell my girlfriend that we were not calling her Beyonce because I was not going to shout that out in a park. So she is called Coco. Her middle name is Beyonce. I'm Darby and I play Emily Elizabeth and Emily, I see myself in her a lot and she's just such a fun, you know, creative, sweet young girl and she's struggling with friends and bullies and then finds this dog who just loves her so much and she loves him. I play Uncle Casey who is a really fun character. He is an idiotic, feckless, um, slightly wild man-child trapped in a perpetual state of arrested development who goes on an incredible journey over the course of the film and grows in responsibility and matures and for me it was very exciting to play such a character not a huge stretch as i recognize a lot of those qualities in myself although um in this uh movie i'm finally unleashing upon the world my american accent which is my actual natural accent i have just been putting this accent on uh, in interviews uh, and in press for years and years and years because I think it makes stuff sound more intelligent than I am actually like. This is all just a dreams. Wait a minute! Who are you? When I first heard about this story, I knew that I really wanted to bring it to life. You know, just from the beginning of hearing that they were starting to do, that they were going to do a live action, I was like, that would be just such an honor and incredible. And then I found out that they chose me and I was so honored and surprised and like really you want to choose me like thank you so much and i was just so grateful and and i really hope that i make um everyone proud uh, who's loved clifford and the creators and everybody and i'm just excited for people to see it i think this is an iconic story um it's a property that means so much to so many people and you feel a huge weight of responsibility uh in you know uh, bringing it to the big screen and and you know hopefully as well bringing it to a whole new audience um and when i read the script it really evoked a lot of the kind of classic family movies that i grew up with um that have you know meant a huge amount to me um uh you know that was always our aim was to try and make this like a classic movie that we watched as kids and they're movies that we kind of watch over and over again uh that was the aspiration uh with this film was to make something really special that resonated with an audience in that way i think the most important message of this is to be a responsible dog owner and always remember that you need to clean up after your pet I hope that people take away from the film how important it is to accept other people and just to be kind and love one another and, and accept yourself and love yourself. And, and I think this movie teaches everyone a great lesson in, you know, friendship and in family. And, and I think everyone's going to learn something really magical. That is also a very good message. And I would definitely say they need to take that away. To love, to be accepted, and to be kind. I have a pet, Coco Cavapoo. It was called Coco. For a very brief moment in time, Coco was going to be called Beyonce. But unfortunately, I had to put my foot down and tell my girlfriend that we were not calling her Beyonce because I was not going to shout that out in a park. So she is called Coco. Her middle name is Beyonce, um, but we don't say that out loud. Um, Coco is uh, quite reddish, to be fair. It's already Clifford's color, but I'm very thankful that Coco is tiny uh, and not 10 foot tall. Clifford is very mischievous um, and my dog is very mischievous. You know, Clifford's a puppy in this movie. Uh, Coco is still a puppy and is, um, yes, got a very naughty streak. So that's definitely something that's similar to her. I have two dogs and I also have two cats, but they're mostly outside cats um, since we don't really live in a city. So they're like indoor slash outdoor. So my dog's names are Marty McFly and Stan Lee. And I think Stan Lee, if he was a giant dog, I feel like he would be blue, like a giant blue dog, which would be um, really scary if he was a giant dog because he's a very scary dog. He, he, although he's a miniature poodle, he can be scary. He likes to steal socks and then hide under the um, bed and act like he's gonna bite your hand off, but then really if you reach to get the sock back, he will just like lick you. Um, and then Marty McFly is a Shih Tzu. He's, he's black and white. Um, but I think if he were a giant dog, he would probably be red. I see similarities in Clifford and Marty and Stan in that Cliff, Clifford is, has a big personality and is um, mischievous and 
can be, um, you know, a bad dog sometimes with like stealing slippers and, you know, peeing on, uh, peeing on Uncle Casey's. And um, Stanley is like that too. He just does whatever he wants. He has a big personality and, um, you know, he, he, he does things like that as well, except he can't pee on a human. He's not big enough to do that. But Marty is more of the like loving and chill and relaxed when Clifford can be like that sometimes, um, you know. And I, I do think that Stanley and Marty in one can make a Clifford personality. Ah! Something happened in. You think? It is the size of a hippopotamus. This Christmas. Follow me. Oh. Oh. One movie. Clifford. 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 Has it all. Oh, Smith. Oh. Carolee. Oh. 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 Feasts. He eats like an animal. He is an animal. I'm talking about him. What? Holiday magic. This guy's like a wizard or something. It was your love that made him so big. <laughs> don't! And don't forget to decorate the tree. Uh-oh. Oh, I hope I'm not around for number two. <laughs> Clifford the Big Red Dog.